Greetings mobile accomplishers, my name is Dieter Bone and you are looking at WebOS 2.0. I want to give you a walkthrough of the major features on WebOS 2.0. You're looking at this on a Palm Pre 2, which is, uh, this is going to be the unlocked developer version. Uh, this is a pre-production device though, so I don't want to focus too much on the hardware, other than just notice the top line stuff. They gave it a flat face, they gave it a faster 1 gigahertz processor, a 5 megapixel camera, and uh, you can also see this uh, bezel around the screen and a different uh, micro USB port that doesn't isn't cover the door. So it's a nice uh, iterative improvement over the uh, Palm Pre Plus and uh, I'm a pretty big fan. Um, but it's not mind blowing and really the focus here is WebOS 2.0. So the first uh, major feature I want to point out is something called Stacks and uh, we're going to launch a few apps here. Now you may know WebOS 2.0 uses this card metaphor so you can have multiple apps running at the same time and you can switch between them very quickly and easily. And so I'm just going to open up a few apps here and so you see you've got a web browser, I opened up my, uh, my Facebook app here, uh, which is uh, just finishing up opening, there we go. And uh, we've also got our Twitter app open. Now it makes sense for me to uh, have Facebook and Twitter sort of together because they are you know, both social apps. And so I'm going to drag the Facebook card over and you can see the other card tilts and they get stacked together. And now when I switch between apps, I've got you know, a browser here and then I've got a couple apps that are stacked together here. And you can, um, you, of course, you can throw a card away from the background. You can add more cards to a stack and so on. Um, now, one thing that's pretty neat is when you open up a link from within a card or do you know, something that's going to open up a related card, it, uh, it automatically stacks together, uh, which is pretty cool. So we'll, uh, we'll go through our stream here, see if we can find a link that we like. Uh, here we go. Here's something about the BlackBerry Torch, another slider. And so you can see that card gets put right in the stack with the rest of the cards that it's associated with. So uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you lose the ability to uh, quickly you know, get a small view overview of all your cards when you start moving them around. But the nice thing is when you launch a new app, it, um, it launches next to the app that you currently have open. So if I open up messaging here, it goes right in the middle instead of all the way at the end, which is pretty convenient. Uh, the next big feature in WebOS 2.0 is they've updated universal search. They now call it just type. There's a field there that you can uh, open up, or you can just, of course, just start typing. Um, and so we're going to pick on uh, Marcus. So I type this name in, and a bunch of things happen. One, shows up in my contacts list, and uh, there's a star next to it, because another feature in WebOS 2.0 is you can favorite uh, people and have a favorites list. Um, it also lets me uh, search Google. I can just tap on that, or I can even tap on the Suggest button, and it'll suggest uh, related searches inside Google. You can tap on Email and it'll show you recent emails both from your inbox and from subfolders that you have synced over. Uh, the subfolders in, in the WebOS 2.0 mail don't automatically sync, but if you happen to have them downloaded, it'll search inside them. Of course, it'll search in your bookmarks and history, which is very cool. And then there's this section called Launch and Search, and what this does is it, uh, it launches either a website or an app and then performs your search inside that app. And you can uh, tap more here, and you can see there's a bunch of different things that you can launch and then search with them, including the Palm app catalog, IMDB, and so on. Um, and then within uh, Quick Actions, this other section here is you can, with what you type, just start a new memo, start a new email, add a new calendar event. It's, uh, it's pretty convenient. You can even tap Update Facebook Status, um, which I'm not going to do in this case, but uh, still pretty clever. Um, so we'll uh, go back here and hit Preferences on Just Type, and so you can see that uh, you know you can change your default search engine you can choose which applications are going to appear we've already got the the two that are available you can choose which applications are going to be in launch and search so say I never do IMDB you can get rid of that you can add more searches uh, so let's add YouTube to that and then another neat thing is when you go to a website that uh, it recognizes it can you can add custom searches for different websites so when I went to ESPN search I got a little pop-up notification showing that you know direct search is available there and then, of course, you can choose which quick actions show up there. So that's just type. It's, uh, it's a little bit confusing at first, but uh, once you get used to it, it, it can be pretty cool. And we expect to see more services available for it pretty soon. Uh, another new feature in WebOS 2.0 is an updated launcher. Uh, they, uh, they made it, they hit it so that the quick wave bar here is hidden, and they replace that with uh, different names for different pages. And you can change the names of those pages, of course. And then when you go into the menu, you can add new launcher pages. Just added that. We'll get rid of that one. You can uh, reorder them and so on. Then, of course, moving apps works the same way, and you can move them between pages 
and so on. So a nice little update to the launcher to uh, make it a little bit more useful and a little bit easier to organize. Um, another new feature in WebOS 2.0 that I am super excited about is called Text Assist. So we'll just open up the preferences here. And basically what this is is an improved autocorrect for uh, WebOS. Uh, there's two things. You can go into the settings here or you can go to the dictionary. These are all the words that I have taught it already that it didn't know. And then there's also shortcuts which is really cool. So you can just have a couple of letters and then you hit a space and it automatically does a, a shortcut for it. So let's go into the memo app. And uh, you can see I've got a bunch of test memos here. And we'll just uh, we'll try typing. Spelled rot incorrectly, made a little noise, fixed it. And you can also tap on it and you can change it back to what it originally was, um, which is pretty cool. And then uh, DD, I've got that shortcut to my name, PC, got that shortcut to PreCentral, and so on. So it, uh, it doesn't catch every word. It's not quite as good as the autocorrect on, say, the iPhone. However, it, uh, it does do a pretty good, eh, not Bob, I didn't recognize that was supposed to be job. But let me just fix that. So there you go, that's Text Assist. And, um, you know, there's a few other features. There's a VPN feature, which I don't have a VPN that works with it, uh, but it can connect to both, uh, let's see, Cisco and I think a standard IPsec, yep, v VPNC. Um, there's also Exhibition, which is uh, displaying a custom app when it's on a touchstone, but that's not available yet on this build of WebOS 2.0. Uh, there's also additional Synergy services. So Synergy is a thing that sucks in all the information from multiple sources and stick and combines it all on your phone without messing them out with each other. And you can access these settings directly from a nice new accounts app so that you can add accounts from a single place and also manage what gets synced from a single place. So let's say in Facebook, uh, I don't ever use their calendar, so I'm going to turn off the calendar sync, but I really do like these other options, so I'm going to leave those there. So that's really convenient. And uh, that was an error code, but we're going to move on since this is an early build. And one last thing I want to show you on uh, WebOS 2.0 is ba -ba -da, Flash. WebOS 2.0 supports Flash. So we're going to head over to Vimeo where I've got uh, the browser set to uh, go to the full version of the site. So you can see that there is, in fact, Flash content. And we'll uh, finish loading the page here. And you can see when there's Flash content, the rest of the page loads fine. It doesn't interrupt the page. It just shows up as this black bar. And you can tap on it. It goes into Flash mode. And so tapping on the elsewhere on the screen doesn't work and you can exit out of it with that little X button. Rotating the screen zooms in on the flash element and uh, you can play flash video and uh, also play flash games. Um, and it works pretty well. It takes a minute to buffer the video just like any video but uh, here it comes and look at that. And you can adjust the volume that recognizes that and you can even jump out of the flash player mode here and go look at the rest of the page while that flash is playing in the background. It's pretty cool. Anyway, there's a full video explaining how Flash works on WebOS 2.0 in our YouTube channel and on the site, precentral.net. So that's uh, that's about it. That's everything I want to show you with, uh, with WebOS 2.0. You've got stacks here where you can have multiple cards shoved together so that it's more convenient for uh, organizing all of the different apps you have running. We have Just Type, which has got a bunch of improvements, both launching stuff and better searching. We've got VPN, we've got an improved launcher, we've got exhibition and synergy, which uh, the improvements there we couldn't quite show you yet, although it is nice to have all your accounts in one place. Uh, a little bit of a speed improvement, emails faster, uh, works a little bit better with Gmail, although there's still no threaded email. Um, you know, lots of just little tiny things throughout. Um, and uh, overall, you know, it, uh, it does feel uh, quite a bit nicer than uh, WebOS 1.4.5. So there you go, that's WebOS 2.0. There's plenty more content and information about it over at precentral.net, so please head on over and check us out.